My name is Artisha Tabrizi. My studio is in Los Angeles, California, and I work with uh, tapestries, paint, and uh, ink. My artistic journey started like 20 some odd years ago. Um, I came to it without really any, without really any ambition. Um, I just was looking to kind of reconnect with a world that I felt disconnected from. Uh, and coming to BlackRock, that was kind of circling my head. Um, and I wanted to come back here and try to reconnect with those original intentions that I had, um, f uh, I had all those years ago. Six, seven years ago, um, I came across, I had actually hit a snag in my kind of my studio pursuits and I, I wasn't really kind of creating anything that I was interested in anymore. Um, I just felt like I was going through the motions and I came across this video of this uh, uh, Persian lady, uh, old, old lady kind of creating this, this tapestry by hand and um, it was an Instagram video and that kind of inspired me so that I took about a year, I started playing with materials, started looking around me, and then I found that these materials really kind of spoke to me because they kind of connected with my childhood, um, where I come from, um, and it, it came to me a lot easier than a lot of things that I had done before. And what I mean by easier is that I, there was like an enjoyment that, not to say the enjoyment wasn't there before, but it was, um, I don't know, it was a more fulfilling process. So that was the beginning of that, pretty much. I mean, I always kind of liken it to kind of the human psyche. Like my paintings, they, I, well, the paintings that I like to either view or the paintings that I like to create or, you know, the fabric works that I like to create, whatever you want to call them, is kind of something that's layered, almost like the human psyche. So as you go deeper um, into the work, as you look deeper into the work, you know, different meanings appear from the work. And I think that's why I layer with you know fabric, with silk screen, um, with gold leaf, with uh, thread, and some new things that I came across, you know, while working here at BlackRock, um, and some you know some different things that I started trying, which is kind of the thread that you see in the background. So a lot of that stuff is new, but at the same time, it's this kind of idea that I've always kind of you know engaged with in my work, where I like this layering process. Um, where, you know, these you can specifically tell what the figure is, but some of my work you cannot. And for me, it's that interesting thing where you don't know what it is, but you can create your own conversation with it. When I was coming here, I, I had seen, you know, a, a lot of the, the wax prints and, and I was like, oh, very interested in that. So when we went to the market, the f you know, the first week or two I was here, I bought a lot of that. And you, you see that in this work. But, you know, kind of as I was here longer, we went to other markets and there was fabrics that were from Mauritania, which were basically these, uh, they almost looked like ink dyed, something else, similar to what I use in the background. Um, and I, I just love the fabric, the way that they were made. Um, and for me, it's, it's, it's aesthetic more than anything. So it's, it's something that I, I view and it's, it's kind of an intuitive thing that I feel connected to the fabric and then I'll use that in the fabric, I'll use that in the work. As artists, we have these narratives that we carry in our heads and those narratives oftentimes kind of drive us to um, create work that is more vulnerable and allows you to kind of connect to people and those, those connections create hope and understanding. And, um, I, you know, coming to BlackRock, it allowed me to kind of sit with the work more and to kind of to that intention. Um, I spent a lot of time in the studio, which is what I do at home anyways. Um, I spend a lot of time in the studio. I'm more comfortable there. I always have been. Uh, but being here, I wanted to do it in a different environment. But for me, I, I work in my head a lot. So being in the studio allows me to like work out my ideas. Taking back with me, I would say, uh, I, you know, I totally kind of figured, you know, kind of reconnected with certain aspects of my work that I, you know, originally engaged with when, when I started um, as an artist and maybe I had lost through the years and it, this place allowed me to like kind of think about those things again and try to connect with them a little bit more um, because those are the fuel and the drivers of the work and um, if you don't have that then sometimes you feel kind of lost and um, I was feeling a little bit of that before I came here. 
So for me, it was, there was an intention to try to find that again. Um, but I think I, I, you know, I've reconnected to some degree. And um, going back to you know, my studio back home, I think I'll take that with me um, and hopefully carry it into my practice.